All right, Newsmax's founder and CEO, Chris Ruddy, joins me now. And we don't have him on television a lot, so you know it's an important subject. And, sir, thank you so much for coming on. Uh, it's a scary time for, for freedom of the press. It's a scary time for freedom of speech. Well, first of all, Rob, thank you for having me on. I really enjoyed hearing Congressman Van Drew. Um, I, I think this isn't about Newsmax. This is a much larger issue about um, a free speech, about censorship, political discrimination, and the future of this country. We're seeing basically private companies acting to censor uh, opposing points of view. Let's go through this, okay, very carefully. This yeah. is not a carriage dispute. This is about whether Newsmax should be allowed to be treated like any other cable channel at all. Last year, uh, One America was deplatformed by AT&T DirecTV. Uh, they were removed for no reason. I understand they had pretty uh, reasonable ratings. They were strongly pro-President pro Trump, strongly conservative. Nancy Pelosi's friends in Congress called for the deplatforming with all the major cable companies of Newsmax, One America, and Fox News. And AT&T, which wholly owns DirecTV, it's the 75% owner right now, quickly moved to remove them and deplatform. Newsmax has been around now. We're a lot bigger than One America. We're the fourth highest rated cable news channel in the nation. We're top 16. There's hundreds of channels. So we're very highly rated. We're not even in as, in as many cable homes as most of these channels. So after our initial launch period, we did not receive a fee during that period. We were up to get a fee. All cable companies get fees. They exist. All of the major players get yeah. fees. The top 100 channels at DirecTV on DirecTV gets a fee. DirecTV told Newsmax that we are not entitled to any fee. They will pay us zero dollars. We're a top four news channel. The DirecTV runs 22, carries 22 liberal news channels. Every one of them gets a fee. And Newsmax has higher ratings than three quarters of them. And I might add, all of these channels, there's 50 channels with less ratings than us, are getting fees much greater than what Newsmax was asking for. It was a tiny little fee. Last year, three major cable operators signed a deal to give us a cable fee. Verizon was one of them. Um, more than 12 million subscribers are going to be getting Newsmax. We're going to become a very normal cable channel. Clearly, AT&T... DirecTV did not want Newsmax to be yeah. treated and have the resources of a typical cable news channel. And they don't want, they don't want, it's, it's obvious they don't want conservative voices. They also don't want independent voices. You know, they, they, they don't like networks. We, 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 you know, you're the boss here. You know, we're not, we're not tethered to a huge corporation, you know, and a board. You know, it's, it's, it's much different the way this place is run. We're not sure. beholden to anyone. Yeah, well, they got rid of One America. They got rid of... Now they've gotten rid of Newsmax. Only Fox News is left as conservative leaning. And you have 22 liberal channels. Let me give you an example. Vice, which is a far left channel aimed at young millennials, yeah. pro Antifa, all of that stuff. They are on all of DirecTV. They have a tiny rating, just 20% of Newsmax's lowest rating. And they get a fee about what we were asking for. So DirecTV says, you know, we're trying to save money. We've got to cut costs. DirecTV made $2.7 billion last year. Their and idea profit. of cost cutting is yeah. to cut conservative channels. And it's not to give them. We're a highly rated channel. So you think any business, they don't, we don't cost a lot. We have a lot of supporters and viewers. Wouldn't you want channels to get rid of like the 99th channel that yeah. has no rating that costs you a lot of money? No, they don't believe that. So it's a very clear example of political discrimination. That's why we're fighting back. President Trump has called for a boycott of AT&T and DirecTV. Even if you're not a subscriber of DirecTV, he says cancel your cell phones. Don Jr., as you know, just put out a tweet. We can put that up on the screen, yeah. Right right there. So he's, he's strongly, he's telling people to drop DirecTV and AT&T. Uh, they're trying to run from this. But, you know, we're really impressed by the Congress, you know, uh, Congressman Wesley Hunt of, of Texas came out, right. uh, strongly uh, got a letter of 41 congressmen. And that was only just in a short period of time. I do think we need to have hearings. 
I think we do too. And I, they, 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 you know, Jeff Van Drew just said he's going to call for them. I, you know, we'll, we'll see what it takes to actually get that done. Obviously, 41 members of Congress have now signed a letter. So, well, I think we have an online position, uh, petition. If you people want to join, I want Newsmax TV. You certainly can call Direct TV tomorrow morning. You can call members of Congress. We need you to call them. Tell them you want hearings. You just this political discrimination, deplatforming has to stop. Um, and we really appreciate our viewers. We know we've gotten a incredible response we have. today, and it's uh, yeah. it's actually heartwarming to see that support. Certainly is. Our boss, Newsmax CEO Chris Ruddy, sir. Thank you so much uh, for coming on tonight. Thank you, Rob. All right, our viewers, as we just said, can help us to fight back. If you are a DirecTV customer or even an AT&T customer, their products, cell phone, whatever it is, Internet, call them. Let them know you oppose what's happening. You oppose wokeness uh, and censorship, which is what this is about. You can also just cancel services. You can threaten that. You have many options where Newsmax is carried or where you can get a cell phone, for example. Um, we're on. You, you got the app right there. I mean, we, there's many ways to watch uh, our show for those that have DirecTV that have found us in a different way. Uh, second, we're urging you to call your congressman, senator today. Demand they investigate AT&T and DirecTV for direct discrimination against conservative media, which is exactly what this is. They come in after OAN. Now they're coming after us. Fox is obviously the biggest fish. It's going to be tough for them to go after Fox, but this is exactly what they're doing. This is the agenda, and you're seeing it at work. Please go online to IWantNewsMax.com now. Join our petition and find out how you can join with us. Second, text the word TRUTH to 39747. We'll send you information right away. Our petition, important updates. Newsmax, of course, needs your support against establishment giants like AT&T and DirecTV. Uh, you can call today and do that. America and our freedoms, including freedom of speech, are too important to not fight for. Freedom of the press, critically important as well.